But I cannot tell you yet. I gotta tell Brother Vividila and the voice of God staff first. And tomorrow I'll be telling it to the ministers. How many ministers are here? Could you stand? Are we are certainly happy to have all you brothers. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you. You know, we look at all the the uh, thousands and thousands of people that has come to the message here in the Congo. And many people ask the question, how come the Congolese people have accepted this message in so much huge numbers? I remember Brother Billy Paul told me that when Brother Branham went to South Africa, he, he stopped in Kinshasa. And at, at that time it was called Leopoldville. And this country was called the Belgium Congo. And, and because the Belgium government controlled the Congo, they forbid Brother Branham to preach in the Congo. Amen. Amen. And Brother Branham told Brother Billy Paul, he said, Billy, Billy, if ever my message get into the Belgium Congo, they will receive it. Amen. I believe with all my heart that Brother Branham was prophesying. The message has come into the Belgium Congo. And the Congolese believe it. What a blessing. What a blessing. Brother Softman told me that he was standing that he was standing with brother Branham and brother Branham told Tommy Osborne he said Tommy go into Africa in the more Africa and tell the Africans in the one in Africa that you have seen God manifested in the flesh. Well, where told This message it's not a man. This message is God manifested in the flesh. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, Okay. Now, how, how wonderful. Amen. Amen. You know, there is a time and a season for everything. Last, last year, I told Brother Vividila, I says, the Lord willing, I will come to Bujimai and I will be with you. And 
this is the season that I am with you. I, I know that you love me. Nothing. I know that you love me. I, I, I know you love Brother Joseph. And, and I know that you love this message. And I want to I want to tell all of you. That I love all of you with all my heart. God bless you all. Amen. 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 He is precious, isn't he? Now, just for a few minutes, I'll talk to you about. Just a few things that I believe will be a blessing. Amen. 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 Now, if I would say anything at the platform, anything, and Brother Branham said the difference, if you, really, if you really love me, if it's not what Brother Branham say, take what I say and throw it to the track. Amen. Amen. All right. Now, um, we we will go to the Word of God. And we will all stand now. Let us pray. Lord God of heaven. We are your people, Lord. We love you with all our hearts. We believe you, Father. We pray that the Holy Spirit will come and bless all of us we pray for a special blessing upon our pastor brother Vibidila and upon all the other pastors here and missionaries and upon this congregation bless us all Lord and take the words of the Lord Put it in our hearts. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we will take our two or three scriptures. Amen. Amen. And uh, I want to look at Daniel chapter 12 and mm -hmm. verse 4. Amen. Daniel chapter 12. Amen. Daniel chapter 12. And verse 4. Amen. 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 Uh, and we will. Well, I could read it too in English. Uh, we will read from verse uh, we will read from verse 2 to verse 4 verse 2, 3 and 4 and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words 
and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. We'll stop here. Lord, may you bless your word. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Now, uh, if you remember in in Eden, in Eden, what? in Eden there were two trees. In the Eden. One was called the tree of life. And the other was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And if you notice, it was not called a tree of evil. But it was called a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Brother Branham called it in another how Brother Branham expresses it. He says, one was the tree of faith and the other was the tree of knowledge. And in Eden, what Satan did to Eve is he, he got Eve to go after knowledge. Instead of going after faith. Now, as we come into the end time, there is a tremendous emphasis on knowledge. And this emphasis of knowledge has caused many preachers to build the, 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 the faith to build the, his congregation upon knowledge instead of faith but Abraham told us that from Eden man has chosen to live by knowledge instead of living by faith the prophet tell us that we cannot know God by knowledge and today even in the message preachers is no longer trying to get the people to believe it is an emphasis on who no more and who no more and who no more this, this emphasis on knowledge is not according to the scriptures and the message nowhere in the bible does it say that we are saved by knowledge we are not saved by knowledge we are saved by faith Father Branham tell us that we do not know God by knowledge I want to maybe just read a little bit for you now, in the message called God's Provided Way, the prophet says this. Now, in the Garden of Eden, there were two trees. One of them was the tree of knowledge, and one was the tree of life. And man can never know God by knowledge. Amen. Amen. How do we know God? We know God by faith. By faith. 
and faith is a revelation of God. When God put in our hearts a true revelation that is faith. Does everybody understand that? We cannot put the emphasis on knowledge. We must put the emphasis on faith. Let me give you a little example quickly. Today we have men that study the Greek and they study the Hebrew and, and they study the dictionaries. It's all a thirst for knowledge. It's knowledge, 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 knowledge. The simplicity of the gospel. When Jesus said that Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things they can't believe it why? because they're not built on faith they are built on knowledge and because of the knowledge when we tell them brother Push aside all your knowledge. All these Greek dictionaries. And all, all the research you do. It's all in vain. Because Elijah. Is to restore all things. Amen. And because of the knowledge. They have a hard time to believe these things. Let me just give a little simple example. When Brother Branham preached the rapture. In, in, in Yuma. Yeah. Many preachers take a big chart. A big chart. And they say this event is gonna follow this event, it's gonna follow this event, it's gonna follow that event. These same preachers have a hard time to believe everything the prophet says. Why? Why? Because their ministry is based on knowledge. And Brother Branham told us, he says, now the rapture is a revelation. And he says, the revelation is faith. Now let me give you an example. If I study and study and study all of it, and my head is full of the knowledge. And but a Vividila might not know all, all the, the ins and outs and all the details of it. And maybe I can come to the pulpit and say, this event follows this event, follows this event, follows this event. And I could draw, I could draw all of that out on a chart. And maybe I am right. I could, I could be perfectly right. In all of my explanation. But if I don't have the faith, I will not be in the rapture. And you take, if you take Brother Vividila, he might not know all the different things in the chart. But God put faith in his heart. And if God put the faith in his heart, he will go in the rapture. And I will stay back if I have just all the knowledge. Brother Branham says, never judge yourself by the knowledge you have. A man is not spiritual because he knows a lot. A, a man is not spiritual because he knows a lot. Does everybody understand that? Now, 
Now, godly knowledge is to know that God cannot make a mistake. Godly knowledge is to know that everything God says is true. Now, 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 in order to bring the people back to faith, because many preachers, many congregations has left the foundation of faith. And it's just knowledge, 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 knowledge. And that will not profit us. Now I know this is hard but what I'm saying. But it's true. Now in order to bring us back to faith God gave Brother Branham a ministry with signs to cause the people to believe. The signs is not to create students of the Bible with all the knowledge. The signs is to get the people to believe that what the prophets say is the truth. Let me give you an example quick before I go forward. You have some people say, I believe Jesus. You know, they says, Me is not the prophet, it's Jesus I believe. Jesus. These people are hypocrites. They don't believe Jesus. They have a knowledge of the scriptures, but they don't believe. Because, because, because look what Jesus tells us. In Luke chapter 24 and verse 25. Luke 24 and 25. Let's read it. Jesus said, I want to read it for you. Then he said unto them, O oh, fools, and so of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. How can a man say he believed Jesus and don't believe this? When Brother Branham said this, they don't believe it. Do you know why they don't believe Brother Branham? Because they don't believe Jesus. Now, in order to bring us back to faith, God God gave Brother Branham the signs. And, and Brother Branham tell us that in this age God sent a sign that the prophet called it the last sign. Let me just share, share it with you. In the message, it wasn't so from the beginning. 
Brother Branham says here, and I'll read it for you. Remember, let me tell you, thus saith the Spirit of God that is on me. This is the last sign to the Gentile church before the rapture. Thus saith the word of God. Thus saith the Holy Spirit that speaks. That knows the secret of the heart. That knows the secret of the heart. Thus saith the Lord. You are receiving your last call. Call, call me a fanatic if you wish to and blaspheme the Holy Ghost. So this is thus saith the Lord. This is the last sign. And this is the last call to the Gentiles. We will go a little further. We will go a little further. And trust it will be a blessing. In the message, be not afraid, it is I. Brother Branham said this. Remember, thus saith the Holy Spirit. This is your last sign. Write it in your Bible. And if something if something rises besides this, I'm greater than this. Call me a false prophet. So you have people saying that they have greater revelation than Brother Branham. Or that they have something to bring to us to add to what Brother Branham say. Brother Branham tell us if something rises besides this or greater than this he says call me a false prophet. This is the last sign. This is the last call. This is the last message to the Gentiles. There is no other message. You are receiving your last sign. Amen. 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 Let me go a little further. Brother Branham goes on to say this. Amen. Is he wonderful? Amen. 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 In the message, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. The prophet tell us. We had signs. Wonders. Sanification. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues. Divine healing. But what was the last sign before Sodom burned? The very thing you were seeing tonight. Just before I read, I want to say this. The last sign was not healing. The last sign was not healing. The last sign was not the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The last sign was not sanctification. The last sign was not speaking in tongues. What was the last sign? Because the prophet tells us there are people God used to hit the God used to pray for the sick. What? God used, there are people that pray for the sick. And they had great results. But that is not the last sign. The last sign is to bring the bride back to believe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This is the last sign. Before the rapture. Let, let me read again. Let me read again a little bit. Before I go on. 
Now hear what he says. No prophet, no man. In the message, sirs, we would see Jesus. Brother Branham says here. Just remember. Thus saith the Lord. You will never, no more Gentile age will ever see any sign to succeed this. That will, that will, that will grow greater. This is the last sign to the church. Listen, church. Listen, church. Nobody. No preacher. No church. Could produce any sign greater than what God gave Brother Branham. That is, the Lord. Just This is the last sign. Listen. Listen, church. Let me let me repeat the prophet again. Brother Branham is clear. It is not sanctification. The last sign is not the baptism of the Holy Ghost the last sign is not divine healing the last sign is not speaking in tongues what is the last sign what is the last sign that better than tell us that the Lord nothing greater Nothing greater. He said, if something come greater, he said, then call me a false prophet. <laughs> Listen, church. Listen, church. Listen, church. I want to read. I want to read something for you. Do you know why the people are not satisfied with this message? Because they have gone after knowledge. What? They have gone after knowledge. Instead of faith. Here's what Brother Branham tells us. Let me read this for you. This is important. Brother Branham says in Acts chapter 5, verse 1. Amen. Amen. Oh, there, it's all over. <laughs> Proving his word. The message called proving his word. He said, he said, he said Thus saith the Lord. You're receiving your last sign. Oh, Brother Branham said, If someone is saying Brother Branham is wrong, that is a blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. It's a blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Let me let me just share this with you quick before we move on. Amen. Amen. In the message, a greater than Solomon is here. Brother Branham said this. Listen to this. Listen close now, everybody. A greater than Solomon is here, preach in Dallas, Texas. Brother Branham asked the question. What more do you want to see? Brother <laughs> For you, Brother Branham asked the question. What more do you want to 
What more do you want to see? Chandente kuchukua. Chino ni basa kumona. I I tell you. Chino ambila. I tell you in the name of the Lord. Nye unu ambila mochina ya mugalena. If you regard me to be his servant. This is the last sign that the church will receive will see according to the scriptures. Now what what is this what is this last sign? What is the last sign? Let us see what the last sign is. To answer you, man, I know. Chimayi no chandega elun chini. Remember, Vulugai. This is the last sign. Eh, chin chimayi no chandega. This is the last call. Eh, chin dibe gire bana chandega. This is the last message to the Gentiles. Eh, chin kimo kenyu chandega elu kudi babista mnyabenda. Amen. 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 All right. Now. Amen. Now listen. Here's what he says to us. Listen to this. This is wonderful. Listen. Amen. 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 Excuse me. How oh, wonderful is in here. Oh, wonderful. Amen. Amen. All right. Here. Yeah. Here. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. We have had signs and wonders. Sanctification. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues. Divine healing. But what was the last sign before Sodom burned? This, this is the this very thing you are seeing tonight. This very thing you are seeing tonight. God. 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 Manifested in human flesh. God. Knowing, knowing the secret of the heart. Amen. 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 God Himself came down in this day. Took the flesh of Brother Branham. Listen. Listen. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Amen. Amen. And when listen. I, I want you to take your script, to take your Bible with you just for a minute. And let's look at First Thessalonians chapter 4. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And we will read from verse 14 of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Okay, read it. 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 Okay, Okay, read it. 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 Ok
14. All right. Nous ne voulons pas, frère, que vous soyez dans l'ignorance au sujet de ceux qui dorment, afin que vous ne vous affligiez pas comme les autres qui n'ont point d'espérance. Car si nous croyons que Jésus est mort et qu'il est ressuscité, croyons aussi que Dieu ramènera par Jésus et avec lui ceux qui sont morts. All right. Now, who is going to take us up? Who is going to take us up to meet God? Jesus. 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 Continue. Voici en effet ce que nous vous déclarons d'après la parole du Seigneur. Nous les vivants. Restez pour l'avènement du Seigneur. Nous ne devancerons pas ceux qui sont morts. Car le Seigneur lui-même a un signal donné à la voix d'un archange et au son de la trompette de Dieu descendra du ciel. Uh, all right. Listen. The, the Lord himself. What does he do? By the word of the Lord. What does he do? He comes down. With three things, brother Adam says. A shout. A voice. And a trump. When he comes down, he takes Brother Branham. Brother Branham said, But Adam said, he comes down, veiled in a pillar of light. And he takes Adam. Now listen. Listen. The flesh was not God. The man was not God. But God was manifested in the flesh. Now listen. You have you have people that say you have people that say they say the message the message is being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, there are people in the denomination that baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but they don't believe the message. But baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ baptism it goes with the message but baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is not the last sign King Owa, King Yaya, the one that the Lord Jesus Christ is the There are those who say, "Kudi bago abu bina bari bamani." It is the mysteries. What? The mysteries is the message. Mal masoko ka kimugenzi mu ina. Mal masoko ka kimugenzi. If you if you know all the mysteries, we mu manya mal masoko ka onzu. If you have all the mysteries, we mu ikalen mal masoko ka onzu. You have the message. We don't mukenzi. I have I have sad news for them. I have sad news for them. Dine lumu lo aguba to ajila. Paul tell us in 1 Corinthians 13. Tu ya mu koni to aguba dilu. Then sa dimu mi start. And verse 2. Then sa mi bid. Here's what Paul tell us. Read it. Tu dimu mu kanda wa koni to aguba dilu. Chapter 2 mi mi start to convince mi bid. Et quand j'aurai les dons de prophétie 
la science de tous les mystères et toute la connaissance. Quand j'aurai même toute la foi jusqu'à transporter des montagnes. Si je n'ai pas la charité, je ne suis rien. So people are saying, now, if you know the mysteries, well, and preachers could be used, have built the congregation on the mysteries. If you notice what Paul says here in 1 Corinthians 13, he says, he says, even though I know all the mysteries and have faith to transport the mountains, Brother Branham said, this, this faith that Paul was speaking about here is faith for healing and miracles. The faith that Paul spoke of. Because the love of God, the love of God, brother Branham tell us. When a man loves God, he will obey every word. But a man, a man could have could have faith. To work miracles. And fight to believe for healing of the sick. And that same man will deny parts of this message. And all the miracles and the signs will profit him nothing. Another man that studied the mysteries and studied the mysteries and studied the mysteries and acquired knowledge and acquired knowledge that he know all the mysteries and he don't believe every word of that prophet it will profit him nothing so the message now is not just the mysteries but the mysteries go with the message this message is God is God manifested in the flesh There are those who say the message is sisters mustn't cut their hair. There are denominational people that sisters don't cut their hair, but they don't believe the message. There are those Listen, they have gone off on knowledge and have forgotten faith. Listen, church, let me get to this. God came down and many preachers, even around this message, have not seen the last sign. Brother Branham, tell us you are seeing your last sign. We are seeing it. We are seeing the last sign. And what is the sign we are seeing? God, God manifested in the flesh. And when God took the flesh of Brother Branham. Brother Branham looked at the whole audience. And he said, I take under my control the entire audience. He said, every sign is under my control. That was not a man. That was more than a man. 
Aji Jumanji Tambah Muntu That was not in a man Aji Jumanji Tambah Muntu Tambah Muntu Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wonderful! Bilema Bilaya! You are seeing, seeing your last sign! Nurimonga Chimogumana! Chimayu Chen Changagel! What happened? When God took Barabanam home! Hanga Chinzan, you wanted to bring Namu Yen and the Mutumi. Now, Barabanam, tell us! Now, the same spirit that was with Barabranim. The same God that was with Barabranim. Now, he has entered into the flesh of the bride. And the bride. Amen. 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 Listen. It is not just the mysteries. It is not just the mysteries. A, a man could preach the third polar. A man could preach the third polar. And the thunders. And all the mysteries. Listen. Barabanam said. Judas had knowledge of the mysteries. Judas, and he was a devil. Kadenda uva jabulu. We have to bring the people back to faith. Because we are saved by faith. Amen. Amen. Now, in closing, I want to say this. Brother Branham says here. Listen, in the message, Elijah and the meal offering. Oh my. Jesus said, yes, as it was in the days of Sodom, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. That same God would appear in flesh of his church. The same God, what did it do? It came down. And Brother Branham said, God Zambi. spoke to a man. The audible voice of God that we have on the tape. Listen, listen. People didn't, didn't see what happened. They sit in a meeting. They sit in a meeting. They are sitting in the services. And they think. That they're hearing Brother Branham. They think. Oh, Brother Branham preaching. Oh, the tape of Brother Branham. They don't realize. They don't realize. It was not Brother Branham. It was God. Speaking through Brother Branham. That is the last sign. People cannot believe it. Now, now, here's what the prophet say. When you come to this message, then God comes in your flesh. Listen, I, I got to finish now. Um, you know, I remember Brother Billy Paul told me this that I thought was so nice. Me, not, not Brother Billy Paul, I'm sorry. I have a tape at home. And I want to show it to you. By Kenneth Hagan. Preached by a man called Kenneth Hagan. Preached by a man called Kenneth Hagan. Kenneth Hagen. And he was a big man in the Pentecost. He's a big man in the Pentecost. And he was preaching against Brother Branham. And at the end of, the, of his message, he told the preachers, he said, do not follow William Branham too closely by listening to his tapes. 
wamani kina mama juu na milango ni baishi kano longe William Mario Mbarana ma lutele jamii kabayenda to he said if you follow William Branham too close udio wamani nani bata magula makalanga na ni William Mbarana his spirit will fall on you bishi mbi ende yote na ni banga juu na londa brother British, that's what we want. Hey, to church, to get we to want the same inspiration of Mark I fall on us. To the vision, the dissonance of the body of my mama, Jamala Kinaya, the Munda Mweto. This is the inspiration now. Get the sons of the body to go and pin jail. Now listen quickly. I want to close. In the intelligence, we are pin jail. When God, when God comes down, I got many quotes here. What about him says here? I want to read it to you. Perseverance. He says, "And if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if these words are true, he can make you and if Giving you faith. Now, when he comes down, a greater than Solomon is here. Greater than all 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 is here. Why? He is, he is the word. And when he comes in you, you become a part of the word. And we say it like this. Listen. Where is the message of Brother Branham? Where is the message of Brother Branham? Some people say it is in the tape and in the book. Listen, listen. Jesus came and he said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me." Jesus Christ is not coming for a tape and a book. To, yes, you believe the king will never come and do it. He is coming for a bride. We do love our mother, Jimusela. The tape and the book. Kim ba muga and na shimuga beto. It's only a tool to get the message in flesh. We do we a good way. Where, where is the message? The message is in me. The message is in you. The message is in us. Amen. 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 We are the message of Malachi four. Tetu, tu di mukenzi. Another message we don't know. Another message we don't want. Everything the prophets say we believe. Where is the message? Where is the message? The message is in you. 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 In order for God Himself to get into the bride, because the bride will listen to the prophets. Why do you listen to the prophets? Because the prophet is the voice of God to the bride. Why do you listen to the prophets? Because the prophet is the voice of God to the bride. Why do you listen to the prophets?
If you believe this message with all of your hearts, by faith, we will be together forever. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. I send you back to your Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. That was wonderful. Que Dieu soit béni. Le dernier signe. Le dernier signe. Abraham a vu. Tu vois Abraham Avant que Sodome ne soit brûlé. C'était quoi? Tu vois Dieu dans la chair. Amen. Yes, sir. Tu vois, Zambi, Mumbidu, Amundu. Oui. C'est une grâce. Quand vous croyez cela, quand vous croyez cela, Dieu vous révèle cela. C'est une grande grâce de connaître la manifestation de Dieu aujourd'hui. Que Dieu bénisse beaucoup le frère Ferguson. C'est pourquoi je l'aime beaucoup. Il est strict dans ce que le prophète dit. Ce que le prophète dit. Et c'est ce que nous aimons. Nous disons merci Seigneur. Alors que chacun remercie le Seigneur. Après les Myriam vont monter pour nous congédier. Remercie le Seigneur chacun. Pour la grâce qui t'est accordée. Pour t'avoir ouvert les yeux et les cœurs. Et voir la parole de Dieu, la manifestation de Dieu. Aujourd'hui, remerciez le Seigneur. Merci Seigneur Jésus. Merci Seigneur Jésus.
Seigneur Jésus. Pour ta visitation ce soir, Seigneur. Pour cette parole ouinte, Seigneur. Pour cette onction dans la salle et sur ton serviteur. Nous te disons merci, Seigneur. Que nos âmes soient bénis. Bénis aussi les prédicateurs Seigneur Bénis toute la délégation qui est venue Seigneur Oh quelle grâce nous ont apporté Seigneur Merci, merci, merci Que ton nom soit béni Au nom du Seigneur Jésus Christ Amen Vous pouvez vous asseoir vous pouvez vous asseoir. Nous allons demander au diacre. Nous vous demandons de l'ordre, s'il vous plaît. Que 